But anyway, I really wish the uh, wish Washington would fall to the CSA. Oh, sorry, to the to the South. You know, so we could take it. Oh, something's happening. Montenegro. Oh, okay. They uh they might not do so good. <laughs> um. Yeah, given that they're one province, although they, I don't know, I've, I've actually never seen them revolt. Also, rip in peace the Soviets, wow, they just, <clears throat> they they did not do too good, did they? Although, Allah Short is doing alright, given that um, the uh, Russian Empire is focused on the other guys. Transomers still exists as well, which is unfortunate. <laughs> okay, so once we occupy Clarksburg, we're going to come under attack. Oh, no, we're already under attack here. Let's see. Ooh, look at that delicious Kazakh puree. Transport. Where are our... Uh, these guys? Yeah, they are. Cool. Okay. That's ground support there. I'm not one for a for a fair fight if that's if that seems obvious when you uh, when you play this sort of thing. Um, it's not good to be a fair fighter. Um, you you just really you gotta like pile on like troops. If you see like a weak part in the front line, you attack there with all the available strength that you have. You don't be like oh well, they have like one guy here. Let's attack with one because it's just oh not worth it. You gotta be brutal and, and like a, like a horrible human being, especially when you're leading a civil war. Oh, Italian Federation declared war on Austria. That I actually never have never seen this become so interesting. <laughs> um, yeah, usually this is just like oh, uh, Hungary declares war on Austria, and then this guy, this fucking guy, it's just like okay, uh, and then he like annexes everything else and forms his Danubian Federation. Then kills Serbia, then kills Bulgaria and Romania, and then it's just, you know, second German Empire. And then by the time Communist France declares war in Germany, or vice versa, Austria just comes in like, what? Kills everyone. So, also, this thing keeps popping up in the corner. Sorry, I gotta, I gotta... Stop it! Fucking Winzip, seriously. <laughs> Sorry about that. Not, um, not kid-friendly, this channel. Well, it's, a. Uh, Cool kids only on this channel, unfortunately. If you're a Nazi, you can just get on right out of here. Not welcome. Fucking dorks. <laughs> um, let's see. Alright, so I reckon we're going to come under attacking Huntingdon or Clarksburg next. So, um, where are our plans? We will relocate these guys to Pitt Pittsburgh. That seems like the best place to put them. Um, it really seems like Arlington's the place that we should focus on because then we can have dudes here to attack Washington from two sides. But at the same time, you look how many people are in Washington. It's like, fuck. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll get our tactical bombers to do installation strike. So uh, in installation strike is uh, getting rid of um, the uh, these babies these anti-aircraft guns. So if we just like went straight into support attack, all of our planes would get shot down. And this is gonna do the same thing. It's gonna really hurt our, hurt our stuff. Um, but it's totally worth it. Um, if we can end up getting air support for our um, troops when we finally go into take, um, what, what am I doing? I literally, oh, I am just, no. Okay. So we'll definitely have our escorts over here. Um, yeah, look, we're already taking losses. Um, but yeah, look, we're already, we did 0.1 damage. So worth it. Okay, all right, we are actually not doing anything, so no point. <laughs> they have some real good um, anti-air gone on there, don't they? Get our planes. Alright, you guys, no more suicide attacks. We definitely need them for, for help attacking everywhere else, though. 
Um, so things have actually calmed down a bit, but that's probably because there's a lot of fighting going on over here. Um, where can we focus? Okay, so we can't move there because they'll leave that open. If we attack there, that's 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 open from two sides. But if we attack here with one of our guys, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, Washington, Washington, you know, District Columbia, whatever, seems like the only place that we can really attack, but we can't bring in support from all sides. So by the looks of it, we're just gonna have to wait and try and hold the line until we get our reinforcements in June. Um, yeah, that's just a bit unfortunate. We're not gonna not gonna be um, too busy at the moment. Actually, let's rebase these guys to New York for now, and then we can um, do a superiority. Uh, maybe that's a bit too far, but this area. See if we can shoot down those fuckers that keep attacking our ships. They are just zipping. They, did they really just patrol everywhere but New, fucking New York? Come on, come on. Oh, okay, so they're not, all right, so maybe we have to um, get superiority over here. It's gonna take forever. <laughs> it really sucks that uh, that's such a large area that they're covering because they're, they're really gonna, they, oh, yeah, see, they take take forever to get there. Come on, Luffberry, or however you say your silly name. Um, all right, let's see. Damn it. Uh, yeah, we definitely need more troops. I, I keep looking at it and like waiting and being like, maybe if I look at this long enough, like this problem won't remain, but no, it's st definitely still there. Okay. Something's gone on Clarksburg. Oh, cool. Our shit's been upgraded. That's exactly what we want. Holy shit. Okay. Clarksburg. Yeah, that was definitely the place that they were going to attack. Okay, so what we can do. Oh, wait, we got two guys here. Oh, that's really sweet. Okay, yeah. Okay, so we'll get these guys to attack. Get these guys to support attack. Get these guys to attack here and to support attack there. And then with this. I sound like I'm talking to kids. I'm really sorry um, if you're like really offended by me sounding like I'm, you know. Being like a condescending parent sort of thing. Um, oh, great. oh wait, no, we definitely want these guys in their superiority in this area because we don't want to get curb stomped. Hopefully these guys can hold out. It doesn't look like they will though. I really hate when that happens. Like you try and you try and push pressure um, on these places and it just, it doesn't really do anything. Like, they still attack at the same strength. So these guys are just, really just going to be, oh, no! Fuck! Oh, you're fucking kidding me. I really did not want this to happen. Although, on the bright side, they're not going to the Americans, but... Fuck! Damn it. Alright, hopefully they don't move. If they can just stay exactly where they are, that would be great. And the Soviet Union's finally fallen, and these guys are doing the most stupid attack I've ever seen. Oh my gosh, they are attacking us without support, and we've got a 30 digging bonus. Sheesh, alright, that's um... I mean, yeah, you can, you can, you can do that, I guess, but uh, why? Oh gosh, we're uh, we're really losing out bad there, but we're winning out pretty good there, and we're winning out. Oh, oh we're doing okay, in Arlington, Indianapolis. Oh, look at him heading back to the mission. Okay, um, let us try and throw pressure off that. We might actually need a retreat in Clarksburg. Okay, all right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold that. We're gonna retreat. We're gonna get 
these assholes to Okay, can I of course okay. Ground support ground support and fuck that last plane in Virginia. They're too far away apparently, so let's rebase them in Chicago. We could do ground ground support here and just yeah, I reckon. Let's do it. Why are they oh fuck. Oh wait, no, they barely have any flaps though. Oh damn it, this is a oh this is why I, I fucking love this game, because it's like you get so stressed out over like the most stupid shit. How are we doing here? We're actually doing better, which is good. But I think that's mostly on part of our plane. Alright, so Clarksburg has been occupied. Occupado. We won in Lexington. We're under attack in Pittsburgh. It is definitely the point where we just swamp them from all sides. And why the fuck isn't the US occupying Arlington? Seriously. It's like they, they specifically want us to lose. Also, I'm really glad that these guys aren't moving. That's really helpful. Like, unbelievably helpful right now. <laughs> oh, well, they got five dudes there. Alright, let's join in the assault. Canada's trying to steal our shit. Typical Canadians, am I right? <laughs> oh, good, we won in Indianapolis. Good stuff. In Belleville. Oh, that's that's really good news. I was getting really worried about that. All right, so now it's ground support. There's so much micro in this game, but like then again, it's not really. It doesn't really count as micro, if that makes sense. Um, because like, I mean, I I've played quite a lot of Hearts of Iron Three, and that is the supreme meme of micro because like where, where you would have um like three provinces here there'd be like 30 and i'm sure anybody watching this would already know that but like it's it's nuts it's nuts also us move your shit expose yourself please oh there we go they did it Woo! Well, it seems like the if they're moving down there, their line must be really exposed on this side. That would explain the build up there and how they're able to move all the way through the Midwest. So, yeah, a bit worrying that the Union State is actually winning over the the United States. But then again, that's also sort of good because the Union State has shitty troops like us. Just hope that they never upgrade them. How are we doing for casualties? That is quite a heavy casualty rate. I think they got 50. So we, we outnumber them pretty badly, but our organization's pretty shit. So. Yeah, Korea's uprising. Korea is revolting! Oh, ha, ha. oh yep, almost. Uh, will they get instantly annexed? They always do this. They're like, oh yeah, we're free now. But like, they always instantly get occupied and annexed. Like, we'll get a message tomorrow saying it. Hey, look at that. The Texans rising up against the Union State. That's a good sign. Now Arlington's undefended. Shinshanati is under attack again. These... Oh, these guys are like a new brand of stupid. We won in Clarksburg. Good sign. Okay, so we'll occupy there and there. And hopefully, hopefully we can move these guys into Arlington. And keep that, because that's mountains and shit. So this is, oh, this is mountains, that's cool. Yeah, so then we'll be able to attack Washington from two sides. <clears throat> no, they're moving! No! Fuck! No! Stop! Stop it! Stop it! Stop! No! 
Well, they're moving into a really low IC area, but fuck off. Don't. What are we? All right, so April, May, June. All right, so we've got two months. We, we got to like bank on these guys not being any good for two months. Uh, let's see, Clarksburg, we're still bombing the shit out of them. Cincinnati, they're attacking over a river into a heavily fortified area. But I'm actually really glad they're being this, this fucking stupid fish. Because if they were being smart and attacking us and hunting them, that wouldn't be too good for us, would it? I really wish we could have troops in Charlottesville, that would be really helpful. Because then we'd be able to capture these dudes. But alas! We won in Clarksburg. Since- oh. Oh my god, wait, so how, how are the casualties been doing anyway? Yeah, so they're really climbing up, and we're, yeah, they have like 30,000 casualties in the past month or something, and another 30 for them, and we've only got like 10,000, or like 6,000 or something. I'm not saying that we're clearly superior, but we're clearly superior. Indicatism for the win. For the win. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll instantly retreat here, even though we're winning, but we've got really shitty, like, organisation. So, we'll attack next time with these two arriving at the same time, because these guys are obviously quite good. And we also want the US to throw the uh, Union state off balance. Oh, they're annexed Tasman. So does that mean they're at war with... They're not at war with Japan yet. Didn't say anything about... Surely Japan wouldn't just let Transmer go. Oh, I guess they did. They lost. <laughs> it's a bit idiotic if you ask me, but you know. Whatever. Oh, being strategic. Oh, look at us. Oh. Indianapolis is under attack again by fucking Patton. You could say there's uh, quite a, a pattern of Stupidity in this, so uh... Alright, come on, stop. Alright, there we go. Transport. Transport. I'm not liking the, the lack of range that these guys have. The flying... Also, the flying workers, I know that's like a... Supposed to be like a... Like a good name for them, but they, they really sound like a circus hacked. Oh, US has been encircled. That is uh, sort of good, but it, at the same time, it's actually really fucking shit. Cincinnati under attack by these guys. I'm just loving these guys. These are these guys are a riot. They're so fucking stupid. It's oh, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, basic computing machine. Oh, cool. The second international congress. Great. We'll be able to get um. We'll be able to get uh, this guy um, to speak for us and be like, please help. The British Chrome Naves have confirmed the readiness, readiness to hold the Second International Congress in London. It is time for the combined syndicates to confirm its participation. No, we're not interested. <laughs> no, we're definitely going. Okay, so we did... What was it? Industrial or something? Uh, 40, 37, 38. Alright, we're definitely doing this one. Uh, surprise is just very useful. Okay, Clarksburg. We lost to the United States of America. Uh, Cincinnati. We have won again. So good. Uh, Indianapolis, we won. Belleville, we won. I'm actually getting a bit... Oh. Who that? That person looks familiar. <laughs> Not sure where, where I've seen them. Um, but yeah, I'm a bit getting a bit worried about this because if these guys take Peoria or whatever, so like if they attack Chicago and then we go to support them here, then these guys are going to attack Indianapolis and then we either have to support them here, which would then expose us to being, you know, attacked there or we are got to like remain there and lose Indianapolis. It's like, oh. Sheesh. 
not um not an ideal situation. 